All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is gonna be my first impressions for Days Gone, the latest PlayStation exclusive and Sony Bend title. Uh, their first AAA console title in a while, actually. So first, touching on the story. Um, by the way, I only played the game. This is a this is an early first impressions. I played the game for like maybe three, four hours, right? So. First, touching on the story. In the first three, four hours, you honestly don't learn that much about the story. All you know is you play as uh, Deacon um, St. John, and uh, at the beginning of the game, there's an outbreak, uh, some type of pandemic, and then it leads to, leads to this post-apocalyptic world where zombies, called freakers, even though, you know, um, they want to differentiate zombies and freakers uh, because freakers are actually alive uh, they're not the undead they seem they're pretty much mutated people infected people so they're not actually zombies but for the sake of keeping things simplistic we still refer to all these different type of infected um, in video games as zombies ain't nobody got you know all this time to be using the the exact uh, wordage or vocabulary that you want to describe your you know version of zombies so whatever so there's a, there's an outbreak and pretty much deacon gets separated from his wife right um and apparently his wife is dead i don't know if there's gonna be a twist maybe the twist at the end of the story is his wife uh maybe alive we don't know maybe she'll end up being the boss at the end of the game i don't know that's just me throwing throwing that out there right um, but yeah, pretty much he, he gets separated from his wife. His wife is taken to a, hosp to a hospital during the outbreak, and he decides to stay back with, with, with who I believe is his brother or brother-in-law, uh, Boozer. And then the game pretty much picks up uh, about two years later from that time where he has to leave his wife and stay back uh, with Boozer. And he's pretty much trying to survive in this post-apocalyptic world where freakers have taken over and that's pretty much the basic plot of the story as far as where uh, i'm at so far now as far as the gameplay um i think the gameplay to encompass and describe this gameplay it's it's your open world game right i don't think this game so far this game does not do anything unique um special or outstanding from what you would or what you have seen in other open world games. You got your looting, your herb, your herb collecting, your crafting, your traveling, um, and doing a whole bunch of quests in the world, exploring the map, unlocking the map, right? The, the, I think the biggest difference, and, and I don't know if it will ultimately make a difference in, in how this game is, is the fact that a lot of the game is surrounded around your vehicle you know typically in these open world games there's a myriad of different ways to travel you know and there is fast travel in this game um you know in open world games you know maybe cars aircrafts whatever different types of vehicles uh in this game it is centered around your motorcycle which is like your 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 magnum opus and you you know you're supposed to upgrade your uh your your motorcycle and everything like that i guess that's that's what they really tried to make different about this game is like uh, you know the importance of, of your motorcycle. Um, other than that, the AI is pretty bad from what I've seen. It, it can be pretty bad, right? Um, I'm talking damn near walking right in front of enemies and they not noticing you. Or if they don't notice you, they're very slow to notice you. Like you could damn near walk in front of an enemy you know, you might have 1.5, 2 seconds, it, it's, it feels even longer um, to even get a stealth kill once you, like, go right in front of them. So the the AI is very, is it's, it's very shifty, right? Um, so not much, not much to say, say about that besides it, it, it's, the AI is pretty mediocre and that's one of the things, uh, especially going into next gen, I think developers need to focus on more is that artificial intelligence uh, within these enemies um, I don't know how as far as I know I know of like three different enemy types in this game I don't know if there's more than that um, that's so far I've only encountered like two or three um, and, and I don't know why but for some reason the gameplay uh, of Days Gone somewhat reminds me of Evil Within I feel like if you took Evil Within especially the second one and you replace 
the the you know the uh, enemies of evil within with freakers. I, I feel like that's what Days Gone would be, right? And you know, some people have compared the world to Far Cry. I can see that. I, I think the world is a little bit more exciting or fun than Far Cry. I can't even tolerate Far Cry games anymore. But yeah, it's 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 honestly your. There's nothing unique about this open world from so many open worlds we've seen um, up to this point, and that's becoming and that's becoming one of the. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. The problem with open world games is they are becoming very run of the mill. Uh, they're becoming very stagnant. Um, developers aren't really doing much new with the open world game and the open world genre uh, as far as how is how they design the world. Uh, you know, it, there's just a lot of stagnation there. And Days Gone. If we had to make a list of you know the best open worlds design days gone isn't going to be anywhere near the top of the list i wouldn't say it's going to be at the bottom it's mid and that's what this game feels like it feels like a decent game that's just mid it's not it's far it's far from terrible i'll say that um but so far there's nothing uh, uh necessarily amazing about it it's a decent experience it's an okay game um something else i had a problem with was like the aiming in the game i don't know something feels kind of off with the with the sensitivity and the aim acceleration I don't know the the way it's configured just seems to be a little off. The the uh, the crosshairs seem like slow to respond, but then like it speeds up, like the aim acceleration is a little bit too high. But that just might be my personal uh, thoughts on it. Um, stealth kills are important in this game. They uh, emphasize stealth kills. You get more XP for stealth kills, so it's obviously that they want you to you know be stealthy when you can. Of course, you use that. That, exp that uh, experience you gain to unlock abilities in the skill tree. I'm explaining stuff to you that, you know, it's typical in every open world game. There's not, like I said, that's why I said there's nothing really, you know, unique about this game uh, to explain, to differentiate it necessarily. Um, one thing that is bothering me, and that's once again because of God of War. God damn it, Corey Barlog, he ruined all of our experiences. Now every time we see a loading screen, it's like we have no patience, no tolerance. Um, and the loading screens in, in this game, they're not Bloodborne, but uh, it's not anything, it's not the best either, right? It's, um, there's, they're not often though. They're not often and they're not common, but they are there sometimes. Um, it's, you know, and there's the, the black fade in screen um, go, going into uh, cutscenes and everything like that. You know, it's not completely seamless. Uh, as far as the bugs go, once again, I'm only three, four hours in. I'm sure everybody has seen the, uh, you know, the, the clips on Twitter and social media about um, some bugs in the game. So far, I haven't encountered any bugs at all. Uh, if any bugs come up, I will definitely be sure to mention that in my in my review. But so far, I've encountered no bugs. I know they did release a, 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 a day one patch that might have addressed a lot of the issues. So I, I don't know. Um, also. The dialogue, the script in the game um, so far, because that's another thing that's been posted on social media, is the cringeworthy, really bad dialogue that was put into the game. Um, there, was, there was this one scene, you know, when him and his wife are getting married and one of the lines she used and then uh, this other scene where he's talking to an NPC and it's like his... The, his mouth wasn't synced up with what he was saying and the dialogue was just very strange and very off so far the dialogue you know and it's mainly been between him boozer and uh one other npc character at a camp it's actually been good so what that leads me to believe is like the really bad dialogue is like an is like isolated isolated incidents or I just haven't gotten to the part where the dialogue gets bad, but it's not ubiquitous throughout the whole game. Like there's just terrible dialogue. It's I'm sure it's there. I'm sure it's there, but it's not just you know you're not getting oh you you were almost a Jill sandwich line you know throughout the whole game. It's not like that. Um, I will say that the game feels slightly dated, not tremendously dated. I would say this game it's not it doesn't feel like a 2019 game. Or it, it feels like a two, a late, I would say a late 2016, mid 2017 game. I would say around that time. If if this game came out around that time, it would feel proper for that time period. 
you know um and of course this game is gonna get get is getting compared and you know put side to side with the other masterpieces that some other so sony studios have have uh have made and sony ben just isn't there yet and I, and and like i said one of my theories is because they've been working on <coughs> excuse me um some a lot of uh, handheld titles in their last like eight years and that's not damage control that's just you know how i feel i feel like if, if they were working on purely console experiences non-stop then they would have made a better product but you know it, it is what it is um no days gone obviously isn't um up to those levels of those other sony games and you know it's it's just another decent experience um touching on the visuals the game looks good I will say the game looks good. It, it's rough in some areas, especially the character models and uh, on the enemies, on the freakers. Um, but I would say like the other NPCs in the game, that looks good. The world detail, the facial details look good. The vegetation, uh, you know, the the, tes the tessellation on the roads, um, the, the weather effects, the volumetric lighting, you know, the reflections. Uh, of puddles and everything in the world reflection shadows the water all of that looks good it the game really looks good i i, I played it in 4k on my, my 4k tv it looks good there i'm playing it in, in uh 1080p on my monitor um and the world looks even though you know it, it to me i think it's really hard to balance a barren world a post-apocalyptic world that's not supposed to be lively but also make it look like it's not completely dead because it should give you this feeling of despair and sadness and failure, but it shouldn't be boring, right? And I think so far this game does an okay job at that, right? Um, animations are okay, physics all right so far from what I've seen, and yeah, the game is just the game is just okay so far. It's it's not terrible. Um, it's it's okay. I would say this is one of those games where. You just got to kind of play it for yourself. And there's been... It, you might... By the time I play the, the... By the time I beat this game, I might put this game in the category of a lot of uh, games that maybe were underrated. I don't feel like I'm going to feel that way. I, I feel like I'm going to think this game is exactly what it is. And it's just an, an okay average game. This game is not reinventing the wheel. It's it's not moving the needle. Uh you know it's it's not gonna break any type of grounds at all it's just gonna be a decent experience at best so yeah those are my first impressions of it um once i beat the game and it does seem like a game i'm gonna i'm gonna platinum there is no unfortunately no difficulty trophy i like difficulty trophies but you know um we're now in a time where they want to give out trophies for participation in these games and they want to make uh trophies very accessible and you know making a hard trophy um doesn't fall in line with that they should at least you know make it like a dlc difficulty trophy at least for people who want it but yeah those are my first impressions let me know what y'all think if y'all played days gone so far and like i said when i beat the game i will do a review so that's it y'all i'm out of here peace